Hi, this is Lorraine Tierney with Chat and Craft with Lorraine, and I'm jumping on today to show you how to make some really cute Christmas cards. These are just amazing, and they're quick and easy, and I think you'll really like them. Let me just get my volume taken care of. Okay, if um, somebody can let me know if they can hear me okay. I'm using my headphones today because there may be some background noise and I want to um, try to eliminate that a little bit. Um, we may hear some things um, in the background, people working. So Courtney, if you can let me know, if you can hear me, I had some technical difficulties. I was gonna try to do this via Zoom again and that wasn't working um, so let me show you what the cards look like this is my favorite set that i've made in this area oh thank you courtney i'm glad you can hear me um, i just love these with the whimsy and wonder dsp and um you're, we're going to cut this paper all together, so we're going to make four cards in just a few minutes. It's really, really a great way to do it. Um, so there's that's one set that I've made. And here's another. This is the first set that I did, and this is with the tidings and trimmings paper. Um, and I like this, but I think I like the shimmery, sparkly shine of this one a little bit better and then getting ready to do this today i decided to do yet another patterned paper Let me get these out of the way i'm running out of room so i used the peaceful place paper and some snowflakes and i made this set um, and I think I like these the best. Now I'm out of the screen a little bit, and I'm not sure why. So let's see what I can do. Oh, I've got everything pinned down. I'm just going to have to move my stuff up. There we go. Can you see those better? I'm having all kinds of difficulties today. I've got a cord in the way. Let's see if I put the cord over there, that's better. Okay, so there's the four cards. So these are sparkly and shimmery, and I thought we'd make those. So as soon as this video is done, I am going to, um, post it with a post that's already written um, on my blog. So you'll have all the dimensions and all the information that you'll need to be able to make this. All right, so to get started, you need four card bases and I'm using basic gray. And then I'm gonna use four different mats. I want you to tell me which um, finished card you like better. If you like it better on the real red or the pool party, the misty moonlight or the blushing bride. And then I have four pieces of um, patterned paper from the Peaceful Place DSP pack and they're all silvery and gray. Okay, and these are directional, so I'm making sure that I have them going up and down. And I cut these to three and three quarters by five, but all of this will be on my blog and you'll be able to see it in um, just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna cut this paper and we're gonna cut, I have something stuck in my trimmer. We're gonna cut all four pieces at the same time. So I'm lining it up. Sometimes I use the corner down here. I tuck things into the corner to get them nice and straight. And um, we'll cut them together. So we are going to cut these at two and a half. I might have just said something different, but it is two and a half. Because this is the size that's going to get matted. 
I didn't point that out on the other cards, but let me show you the difference. We're cutting the paper slightly smaller because there's a red mat here. This um, card does not have a mat behind it. It just has the card base. Okay, so I cut through all four sheets. I'm going to take this pile off. I'm putting it right next to the trimmer and I'm not separating it or doing anything else. It's just there. And this piece, I'm gonna rotate counterclockwise and I'm going to cut at two and three quarters. I'm just gonna make sure I'm nice and tight together. So two and three quarters. Okay, and now these two pieces, I'm gonna take them off and I'm just gonna put them carefully, just like that. I'm gonna pick this one up and we cut it like this. I'm gonna rotate it counterclockwise. You have to make sure you rotate them both the same way or your patterns will not come out right. And I'm going to cut this one at one and three quarters. Okay. So there you go. So that's all the cutting that we need to do today. So now we have four stacks. I call this the stack and shuffle cards. I kind of made that up. I did um, get this idea from somebody else on the Pinterest. Her name is Cindy Lee, Cindy Lee B Designs, I think is the name of her blog. And um, this is very similar to what she did. Okay, so this first pile, we're not gonna do anything to. This pile, we're gonna take the top one off and put it on the bottom. On this pile, we take the top one off put it underneath and we take the second one off and put it underneath. So you can see now we have three different patterns showing. And on this one, we're gonna take one, whoa, two, three, and get to the fourth one. Um, you'll notice that because you're cutting through four pieces of paper and pushing hard, sometimes you get a little lip on the edge of the paper. If you do, um, you can just use your bone folder to smooth that little lip out. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a piece uh, or a mat. I'm not sure, I'm gonna move these over just a little. Okay, so I'm going to um, start to put these on here and these go pretty quickly. All right, so first, um, and I think you'll want to use the liquid glue for this because it gives you a little bit of wiggle room to get that border just right. There is enough room to leave a border. And as you go around, you're making sure that each of your papers that you see has a different pattern. Um, it's kind of easy to get mixed up and get your patterns out of order or put one down. You can always flip it over. You can always rearrange a little bit. There's usually um, some way to recover. You end up with a unique creation, not a mistake, just a unique creation. And so these go pretty quickly. You go all the way around. I'll do another one just so you can see the different way. So now I'm taking the top one again off of each piece. And I chose the sparkly side of the papers. I um, seem to be liking my bling and my sparkle these days. So that's what I'm using. All right. The um, snowflakes, the wonderful snowflakes, I think they're called, they're an awesome addition to these sparkly cards. Um, that's what I used behind my tag on the others. 
So I'll show you those in just a minute. Okay, but here are, so we have the Blushing Bride and the Misty Moonlight so far. Here's a more traditional real red. You tell me if you like that one. We made these last night on the Zoom class, which by the way, you're all invited to the Zoom class. Anybody can come. We have people from uh, all around the United States that join us. And we quickly become friends and check in with each other and love to share cards. And I'd love to have you join us too. It's every Tuesday night at... Um, 6 30 eastern time via zoom and i always post the link on tuesdays and on mondays i post what you need to prep to make the card or the project and that's always on my facebook page this page chat and craft with lorraine so if you like it and turn on notifications you'll find out about it okay here's the real red i hope you like that one and then the last one is pool party. I seem to be um, enjoying making these with the same, same DSP, but different color mats when I put the mats on. I was not able to choose which one I liked the best. So you'll have to give me a vote as to which one you like the best. So this goes pretty quickly. We have almost have four fronts made. There we go. And now we'll put these on the card basis. So I'll just go work backwards here with the pool party. I think I like them with the mat um, better than without the mat. But you can certainly do some either way. Uh, you have to decide before you cut your paper because it starts with a different size paper when you don't use the mat. I love that pop of real red on there. I have probably made about 16 or 20 of these cards since Monday morning. I have really enjoyed putting these together. I guess a lot of my Christmas cards will look like this. Here's the last one. And I'll show you how I did the rest of it. Of course, you'll want to put a piece of white on the inside and maybe another sentiment on the inside. Um, you can get f fancy and put a five by four and a quarter piece of um, the Blushing Bride under your white mat in there. It looks very nice when you do that. All right, so um, I've made the tags already for all of them except the this Misty Moonlight one because I want... Whoa, that was not good. I want to show you... Um, how I did that with white embossing and how I used the white craft ink to do the embossing. It's a little bit different than using the Versamark. So we're going to use Warm Wishes for a Happy Christmas and it's from the Best Year stamp set. And we're going to use the white craft ink. So this ink is different than um, the other Stampin' Up! inks. It's not 
water-based. So it doesn't dry as quickly, which means we can use it to emboss. So I've already cut a tag with the tailored tag dies. And now I'm going to put some white embossing powder on that. I do it a couple of times. Make sure I get it coated and I have a little, little bit of a smudge there. Let's see if I can use my take your pick tool to clean that up just a little. There we go. Not too bad. All right, now I'm hoping that you're not going to hear my heat gun because I have headphones in. We'll see if it works. I'm gonna let it warm up just a bit. Close my ink so I don't get that anywhere. And I'm going to use my bone folder to hold this down. And here's the magic of heat embossing. I love when this embossing powder just starts to melt. It's like magic. Look at the way that melts. Yay! So cool. So tell me, can you hear the heat gun? Okay. There we go. And then I just recently received some of this um, mesh ribbon. What's it called? I guess it's just called mesh ribbon. Metallic metallic mesh ribbon it is so cool it's like just mesh it's not really um it's not doesn't have much substance to it so i'm going to use this as a little um pull on this tag so i'm just going to scrunch it up it's very soft and um airy like it's like filaments not really like ribbon Put that there, and then I'm going to use the um, black baker's twine and just tie it. You could hear the heat gun, but it wasn't too loud. Okay, well, I tried. All right. Oh, you know how I feel about tying things on camera. Okay. I just did a simple knot and I'm going to cut those little things off. Okay, and now we're going to add one of those snowflakes from the wonderful snowflakes. They're so shimmery and shiny. I really like these. And the other side is white. You can um, color the other side with the um, blending brushes or your um, Stampin' Blends. But I like, like I said, I'm into the shimmer and shine today. So I'm gonna get a mini dimensional. The mini dimensional fits great right there in the center. And I'm gonna put that on and then I'm going to use a combination of um, a glue dot at the top because this is going to go like this. So the glue dot will hold the top of it and a little bit of liquid glue on the bottom of it. I mashed the bottom of that a little bit. Oh, no, I want a dimensional on the bottom of that because the, the um, snowflake is popped up. Okay, so glue dot there and a little dimensional there. And that is the front of the Misty Moonlight card. So now I'm going to quickly finish those up. I've got my tags made already 
for the other cards. Hopefully I can get the correct tag on the correct card and just put some snowflakes on. So that's how quick it is to get four Christmas cards made. Um, and they're really, really fun patterns. I love, I love the way the papers look on all of the different um, patterns. You know, all the different combinations. And um, last night on the Zoom class, we had people making it with all different papers. Um, some of the paper was um, not shiny, not not Christmas paper, and they looked great. Oh, I'm up too high. Can I move that? There we go. There's the red, real red with the warm wishes. Put those up there. Here's the pool party. I think I really like the pool party. But I think they're all cute. I, I think they will all look great. Oh, where did that glue dot go? There it is. And another dimensional. Oh, what did I forget? I forgot the snowflake. I couldn't hear you guys yelling at me, telling me, don't forget the snowflake. Oh, little, little dimensional works better on that. Okay, I hope you can get an idea of the shine of these cards because it's just so pretty. Well, I went a little high with that, so maybe we'll trim. So to cut this, I just kind of scrunch it up a little bit and then give it a snip. There we go. And one more, Blushing Bride with a snowflake. So I would love if you make some cards like this, if you post it um, and tag me in a post, either tag Chat and Craft with Lorraine or Lorraine Tierney, I would love to see what you make. I think they all look so great. And it's always uh, inspiring to see the combinations that other people make. This one um, was also inspired a bit. Last night, Debbie made the cards with um, Feels Like Frost in that silvery side of the Feels Like Frost paper. And that was really pretty. So there are our four cards. I think those came out great. So I hope that you like these. I hope you'll give it a try. I'd love to help you make cards at home. Um, and if you would like to purchase any products or see any more ideas, you should head over to my blog. It's um, www.chatandcraftwithlorraine.com and um, please let me know how I can help. If you'd like to share this video, I'd love that too. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.